Like when I was a kid, I thought I'd probably like, become an architect or whatever. Did you have like all the car posters up on your walls? Like, yeah, like Lamborghini and the Porsche 930 and stuff yeah. like that. I still remember like the Lamborghini Countach and the Ferrari Testarossa were like the, cool <laughs> the ultimate, have. yeah, the <laughs> ultimate Best cars ride. in the 80s. <laughs> I love like a lot of the like the birds and the portraits that you do. It almost looks like when I was studying industrial design, you know, you use like a lot of ellipses and like French curves and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's a girl in here last night that was saying the same thing. That it looks like she's like, oh, is this guy an industrial designer or an architect? That's the first thing that I noticed about your illustrations was like. Just coming from an industrial design background, that they look very like architectural and industrial, and you don't see that like a ton anymore. You know, you see like just a lot of sort of like impressionist, like whatever. But it's cool. Like I don't know, it's definitely something fresh. <laughs> I love how it's on a three-dimensional object too, because like the detail is so insane. When I first saw your stuff, I thought it was like screen printed on, and I was like, God, this insane line detail for screen printing, you know? So I screen print it too, and I could get, I could get like this line detail, but not much smaller. Yeah. But it's just so much work. <laughs> no kidding. Because you know, I don't have a whole screen shop in my studio type thing, you know, and so I. You know, at that time I borrowed a friend's screen and then he brought it to where he worked to get it burned. And yeah. Then, you know, and then you use it for a while and so many it steps and, involved. Yeah, I mean, so this I can like, you know, you finish a drawing and you get right to it, you know. So like start to finish, you know, like even just from grabbing images and drawing a pencil and then illustrator to like applying it. What would you say like an average piece takes? Um, depends on the drawing. Like the drawing itself can take a week yeah. or more. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, but for like one of these trucks, like basically what I did with these trucks is I took a week and drew them all. Uh -huh. And then, um, then I'd take like a day or to build the panels, sand them, seal them. Oh, so you, you construct all those yourself too? Yeah, and then I took another day to do like the spray paint and the tape work on them. Yeah. Laid first on the surface. Like you can't tell whether you laid the image down and then the, the words themselves, whatever the ingredients right. are on the can, came next. Yeah, so I basically print these things by using a material called gel medium. It's an acrylic product that you just, um, So is that like something that you can even just pick up at like a art supply store or is it Yeah, pretty... just art supply store. It's just, it's basically clear plastic, liquid plastic. Yeah. So I, I just glue the image face, you know, image down to whatever and um, let it dry, and the tedious part is after after it dries. Like, yeah. So this is wrapped in paper. Yeah. With the ink down, 
So, and then after it dries, then you just soak the paper and rub all the paper off. Oh, uh, okay. And then, um, like the image is left on there. <laughs> So like all of these, all these images are from Denver, pretty much. Are they like from all over the country or different places you visit? Um, all the vehicles are from Denver except one. What that small little truck thing? That piece is titled "Toxic." Yeah. That's that's just like a random found image off the internet. Cool. Like, I don't even know if you could find that in the United States. <laughs> it's pretty. Euro yeah, it looks like it. Is is there like a certain draw to like the whole delivery truck thing or a story behind that? Or it's just if for me it just fits the urban theme. Yeah. So, but you know, in New York and other places, New York they're ubiquitous, like, heavily covered in graffiti. Yeah. So and then everywhere else, you know, they're just kind of tagged and not done quite as well. But um, what's well, like just so a it's like this. Do, it's like portable like street art, you know, yeah. that kind of like has been adopted as like, I don't know, street art is cool because it's like free advertising type, you know, yeah. thing, and then it moves around too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just have like an insane attention to detail because some of the shadowing stuff like if you get up and look really close at it like did you just blow that thing up like 800 percent and just go in there and add all the different lines i'll drive first just general drawing and pencil yeah and scan it in the computer and then i'll add all the crazy line work so do once you I, once i have it in the program do you do you like take it based on like like a picture and you kind of like yeah like I go around the city and take photos and like today I totally got inspired <laughs> like it was sick this um yeah I was getting my gas pump for me which is <laughs> awesome <laughs> well, it takes like a half an hour but yeah. this guy this guy um, rolls up with the trailer behind his truck and he's got like a 90 something like little teeny two door Subaru with these huge wheels on it. <laughs> and he's like off roading in this thing. It's completely covered in mud. Is it like a it's Subaru a, Brat or something? Yeah, it's a Subaru Brat. It's so awesome. It's got these big old gnarly tires on it. I was like, I think it's, of course, I take pictures of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have like any tricks to get inspired or like, or even just crank out work faster like certain tricks music or? for me to get inspired is to get on my bike and actually go out and start taking pictures in yeah. town. Because uh, the dirtier, the older, the um, more layered, um, just general like decrepit buildings are. Yeah. And. Um, the better for me. The parts of town that I like are, are where um, kind of um, they're either industrial and people are moving into them. Yeah. And there's like mixed use. Yeah. Like I'm, I really like that. Or they just haven't been touched yet. It's just completely like super um, raw. It's been neglected for a long time, and I get a lot of inspiration from that. 